Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great bargain price Class C motorhome from Parkway RV Center. Folks, if you've been looking for a steal in a nice, uh, pretty late model Class C motorhome, you need to pay attention to this one because you're not going to find a deal like this anywhere else except right here at Parkway RV Center. Today, we're going to look at a 2007 Forest River Forester. Model 3161 is 31 and a half feet long, has one slide out. Now, folks, this one's got some miles on it. That in the price, that's why the price is so low. You have to realize this is about a 32.9 unit if it had 40, 50,000 miles on it. But the fact is, it has 114,000 miles. Now, Tell you something, folks, it, it, it may scare some of you. Some of you that recognize the bargain in this, that's not going to bother you. You know, if I've been looking for a Class C with a slide out in this price range and I didn't want to go back to a late 90s model, you're going to jump all over this because most motor homes in this price range, late 90s, early, maybe 2000 at the latest. This is a 2007. 2007 got a 4k onan generator running right now powering everything up inside literally just come in folks we just drove it 500 miles miles didn't scare us from driving it in folks got michelin tires now folks a couple of things we're going to do to it for that 21.9 price we're going to put a new awning canvas and we're going to fix the slide topper on it as well but looking around it folks this this motor home is in very good shape for this money for this price and this year model. What's neat about it, and I didn't know it until I read the brochure, the 2007 Forester had a fiber, has a fiberglass roof on it. So that's one less worry you have to, uh, you can take off your list. Full pass-through storage here in the back, and I've got pictures of it as well. I'll try to show you on camera. As you can see, pass-through, perfect for fishing poles or whatever you want to put back there. 5,000 pound towing capacity. What I like about it, folks, there's no delamination. Built on the Ford 450 chassis, and it's got the longer wheelbase, the 212 inch wheelbase, which is significantly longer uh, wheelbase than the shorter ones have. And let me tell you something, folks. I know everybody wants, oh, I want a 25, 26 foot. I want a 25, 26 foot. Let me tell you something, folks. You drive a 31 and a half foot with that longer wheelbase, and then you get into a 25, 26 foot, this one drive, rides and drives so much better. It's got way less sway because you've got a longer wheelbase. And, uh, yeah. You drive this, and you're only talking five feet. I mean, you, you look at five feet, it's hardly anything. But it sure makes a world of difference when you're driving it, especially if you're going to tow something, you want that longer wheelbase. 4KW Onan generator, like I said, we've got to fix the slide topper on it. Uh, maybe you have to replace it, I'm not sure yet, but that's included for that price. And I'm trying to hurry up and shoot this thing, it's, it's getting dark on us. Got the running boards, got the 6.8 liter Triton V10. 305 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. This motorhome will go down the road as fast as you dare take a vehicle this size. You always want to look at the cab over, make sure there's no delamination, make sure there's nothing sagging on the bottom, and there's not. So that's a very, very good sign. There's no window in the cab over, I like that. Windshield's perfect, paint looks great. Like I said, folks, if you, uh, if I had a piece of a black tape over the odometer, you would never know this thing had 114,000 miles. You'd swear it had 50 or 60 at the most. Got a power step, lots of windows. Let's look inside this 3161. Look, this thing's a bargain. Like I said, I, it's not a misprint on the price either. All righty, let's step inside. I do like the hardwood floors. I don't think those are factory. I can't swear by it because I'm not as familiar with the Foresters as I am, like the Winnebago's and the Fleetwoods. But if they are a factory, they were put in where you can't tell the difference. But the carpet in the front cab's original. It looks great. 
you've got a backup camera system that works. Of course, I know we're looking at a gravel lot, but it looks great. Seats look good. Front seats, um, uh, adjustable seats, got power windows, power locks, tilt crews, power mirrors with heat, uh, dash heat and air. You've got a CD player with remote. Got the wood grain kit. 114,000. Well, 114,777 miles. Triple sevens, that's my lucky number. Up top, you've got the entertainment center option. You've got a, that, this is probably not the original TV. This TV's, uh, it probably came with a 24 inch TV according to the factory specs. That's probably a 27 or 28 Samsung that somebody has replaced it with. And, uh, on a swivel mount, got a little DVD player right back behind it, so plenty of drawers and cabinets, 12 volt hookups, and they've added some custom, um, and this is actually a pretty good idea, some really nice custom draw, uh, slide out drawers. And over here, I think there's some too. So it's it's been modified a little bit. This has got two of them. And I apologize, folks. I'm trying to do this one-handed, but you got that one up there too. Nice little extra storage. Now, folks, I'm going to point this out about the table booth. The table booth traditionally makes a bed. For some reason, the only thing I can figure is they got tired of picking the cushion up when they put the when they reclined the passenger seat back. It's missing the backrest right here. Folks, I can't get it from Forest River. Um, I tried. The only thing I can do is replace, to make it match, is replace all these cushions at the table booth. It's going to be several hundred dollars. And be honest with you, I'm trying to keep costs down so I can sell this for this price because, believe me, um, this really ought to be a 24-9 unit. But we're trying to keep the price down. So we're going to sell it just like this for $21.9 as far as the cushion's concerned. Now, if you want me to get a price, and it's probably going to take a few weeks to have it done, to have all these cushions replaced and you're willing to pay for it, I'll get it done for you. But it'll have to be added on to the price. I'm not going to sell it for that price with the cushions. And obviously, most people really don't use the table booth for a bed they use a sleeper sofa because the table booth only makes a 60 inch long bed good for a kid or, or one small adult so uh you know if you do want a price on that and a time frame let your salesperson know he'll get you that if you're just going to use it for a table i've got the throw pillows there you can lean against it. it's perfectly fine just like it is so anyway but you do have a leather sleeper sofa, makes a bed, so you can sleep four in here. And don't get me wrong, you can still use this for a bed, but what you're going to have to do is go to Walmart or somewhere, get you a piece of foam rubber, uh, foam cushion material, and just cut you out a piece uh, to cover the gap in the, uh, in the, that, that this right here would normally take up. In other words, you'd need a piece of foam rubber about the size of this backrest right here if you're going to use it for a bed and you get the same thickness you'll, with a sheet over it you'll never know the difference you've got solid hardwood cabinets got the padded headliner good tall roof in here uh stainless steel uh microwave and stovetop oven and i know they put 114,000 miles on it folks but they sure didn't cook in here wow that thing looks almost brand new microwave clean and we haven't cleaned it up. This is just how it came in. Oven looks good. Stainless steel, double sink. Countertop extension right here. Dometic refrigerator freezer. Already getting cold. Yep. Clean. And this runs off propane or electric. A generator. Wow. Hardly any hours considering the miles. 391 hours. This is pretty cool. It's got this. Uh, it's got the Arctic Pack heated holding tanks too. 
You're going to step here to the back. Got a cup. Looks like they had some stickers on the fridge, and it peeled the finish off a couple of the panels. And I'm showing you this stuff, folks, because obviously this thing's not perfect. Um, that's why it's 21.9. I mean, you got to realize this is a 32.9 unit all day long. I'll have to unlock it, but you've got a slide-out pantry right here. There were some drawers. They, they did some more stuff in here somewhere. Yeah, right here, a few more racks, privacy curtain. Got some drawers right here, so storage should not be a problem. You've got a walk-through bathroom, which is a very big bathroom for a Class C motorhome. Stand-up shower. It's got the glass doors with a magnetic catch. Got a skylight, and you can see there's no signs of water damage up there. Uh, sinks out here. Private water closet, which should just be your toilet. Hey, got a China RV toilet, too. Got a little extra storage in here as well. Queen Island bed in the back. Got some overhead storage. Closet space. Cedar line closet, too. That's nice. Nice little touch. Got another small TV here in the back. Probably, uh, if I had to guess, that's probably a 19 inch. And it looks like it's got a little DVD player or something built into the side of it. So that, that's a nice little feature. Got a curtain so you can completely isolate the bathroom from the rest of the RV. Got a DSI water heater. Not a bad motorhome, folks, and a bargain for the money. Now, folks, today's, this is Monday evening, about to get dark. I'll be honest with you, this thing will probably be long gone by this weekend. Uh, Class C's have been really scarce last couple of months. I'm sure you've noticed mm -hmm. I haven't been doing as many videos on Class C's because we can't hardly find them. Um, but this one right here, even with the miles, which I know is going to hurt, it's going to put turn some people off on it, but... When you see that price, you can't, I mean, the price is reflected, reflective of the miles. And if this unit had half that amount of miles on it, it would be 32.9 all day long. But here's the thing, this thing's got years of life left to it. You're saving 10, 12 grand buying this thing with 114,000 miles instead of 50 or 60,000 miles. You're saving enough to probably put two engines in this thing if you ever had to, which I doubt it. Uh, we drove it, did fine, great oil pressure, no warning lights, no check engine lights, none of that nonsense. Overall, just a nice, clean C-Class for the money. It literally just come in, folks. Now, like I said, we're going to put the awning canvas on it. We're going to fix the topper, uh, the slide topper. We're going to make sure we're going to do still do our extensive RV component checkout. We're going to obviously the generator works. We're going to make sure the air conditioner works. We're going to make sure the fridge gets to operating temp on gas and electric. <coughs> We're going to check all your appliances, drawers, cabinets. We're going to make sure, of course, your step works. We're going to have to make sure your awning works. Um, oh, gosh, propane system, water system, holding tanks, uh, converter. We're going to check all that stuff, folks, make sure everything works just like it's supposed to. If we find an issue, even at that low 21.9 price with any of those systems that we inspect, we're going to fix it at no additional cost to you, um, included for that 21.9. So that's, no matter what we spend on far as reconditioning or repairs, you're guaranteed that 21.9 price. Basically for 21.9, you're going to get a 2007 Forest River Forester 3161 checked out, ready to go, just load your family up put some luggage and food in here take it to the campground no worries at all for 21.9 like I said the only thing you, you're just not going to have the cushion which most of you probably wouldn't need that anyway um, if you've got questions about any of this folks uh, give us a call our phone number is 706-965-7929 I strongly encourage you to call as soon as you see this video because this one is going to sell, for this price, is going to sell quickly. I'm not kidding, folks. Look online at Class C Motorhomes with slide outs for around this 20 grand price range, 21.9, anywhere around there. You'll be looking at 98s, 99s, 2000, maybe 2001 model at the latest. 
for what you can buy this 2007 for. It's got a fiberglass roof. Most of those older ones from the late 90s, early 2000s, unless they're a Winnebago or a Tasca, they've got a they've got a rubber roof. This has got a fiberglass. Uh, TVs haven't been stripped out. Got good TVs in here, uh, which I don't. Uh, TVs don't mean a hill of beans to me personally, but uh, I know some people. Uh, they live and breathe TVs. They don't have it. They, uh, they care more about the TV size than they do the rest of the motorhome. <laughs> crazy but it's true but anyway you've got the tvs in here um generator low hours it, it, it's a it's a decent motor home for this price very very low price and i could just as easily ask 24.9 or 26.9 for it um, as easily as i can 21.9 but i don't do that folks i got a really good deal when i got it so i'm passing that along to you you know we don't go by book we don't go by NATA. We go by what we pay for them, and um, that's what we sell them. We get a good buy, we sell a good buy. You know, I could be greedy, as 26.9, and this thing would probably sell just as fast uh, as, as it would at 21.9, but I'm not going to do that, folks. That's a haggle-free firm price. You're going to get the inspection, which is done after purchase. Uh, after it's been inspected by my techs, uh, my cleaning crew cleans it inside and out. My service manager, Gordy, does his final walkthrough. If he's satisfied with everything, he's going to call you and set up an appointment for you to pick up your new-to-you Forester. Salesperson can't set the appointment. I can't set the appointment. Owner can't. Finance manager can't. Only the service manager, Gordy, can. And he'll be right in touch with you after you purchase this RV. Um, once you arrive at the appointed time, the tech that checked it out is going to do, give you a personal one-on-one -on -one RV orientation. He's going to go through his checklist with you. Not only show you that everything on that list works, but he's also going to make sure that you can operate everything on that list. And uh, if you want a copy of everything that we inspect and repair, if needed for the price you pay, contact my sales department. They will email you or fax you over that copy of that list. They'll go over it with you on the phone about what it covers, what it doesn't cover. And I promise you this, folks, all the dealers in the United States, there is not another dealer out there that's going to take a 12-year-old used motorhome and put it through the inspection process that we do. But, folks, we've been doing this for 50 years. We sell five to 600 used units a year. Our customers expect and deserve the best, and they deserve it for the lowest price as possible. Um, you know, we... We bought this with the high miles because it was in such good condition and we could sell it for such a bargain. I know this may not be for everyone. If those miles scare you, I've got other Class C's with less miles for another 10 or 12 grand. Um, you know, that have less miles. Or you can buy this one with the more miles and still get years of use out of it if you take care of it. That's the thing, folks, with modern engines, modern technology, I mean, they run so long now. I mean, this motorhome will last you as, as long as you take care of it, it'll last you. Even with the miles on it, folks, I mean, let's be honest with you. I mean, you're not going to put, most of y'all ain't going to put more than four or 5,000 miles a year on an RV at the most. Keep it two or three years, it'll still be worth what you paid for it. And uh, sell it, upgrade to something else if you want to. I mean, it's this is a vehicle that you can buy today and not be hurt in. Even with the miles, folks. I don't think it's been a rental because most rental RVs that I've seen, I know most rentals have high miles like this. Most rental RVs I've seen are pretty much bare bones, no options. Most of them don't have an awning unless they were put on. Uh, you know, they don't, the rental units, they, when they buy the new rental units, they buy them stripped out. No wood grain on the dash, no backup camera unless they add it. I mean, uh, this is not a rental, folks. I can guarantee you that. Uh, but anyway, you got any questions, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Nationwide delivery is available. Financing is available with approved credit and minimum 10% down payment. Um, please call ahead before coming to look at this motorhome because... This is definitely going to be one that's going to get a ton of video views just in the next 24 hours. It's going on eBay, RV Trader, and some of the biggest, most popular sales sites for RVs on the Internet. So rest assured, you're seeing this on several different locations. 
So were everybody else. Somebody's going to buy this, folks. This is a good enough deal for somebody to travel from the West Coast, from Canada, from New York. I mean, this is a deal that so that it's easy to justify traveling uh, a couple thousand miles or more to buy. And customers do that here every single week, folks, every week. Anyway, if you've got any questions, our phone number again is 706-965-7929. That number is answered 24-7. If it's after hours, our answering service picks it up. If they can't help you, they forward your information to my non-commissioned sales team who will call you back the next business day. And, of course, during normal hours, you're going to talk to one of my salespeople. Please, please, please call ahead before coming to look to make sure it's available. I strongly suspect, uh, I doubt it'll sell the nice since we're about to close up, but I strongly suspect somebody probably tomorrow is going to call leave a deposit on this. And uh, because this is the, you, you can't go wrong, folks. Th this motorhome is, what I, is worth what I'm asking for. it. If I took a Sawzall and cut it in half and sold you the front half of it, it'd be worth $21.9. And you're getting a whole motor home right here, checked out, ready to go. Uh, you're also, you know, y'all, you can't get a warranty on this because unfortunately our warranty company doesn't warranty anything over 100,000 miles. But we're still going to go through the same inspection process that we do with the $100,000 motor homes. We're going to give you 21 nights of free camping up to, up to seven nights at a time included in a 12-month period at select RV resorts nationwide. You're going to get that orientation. You're going to get the checkout inspection. You're going to get a drive-out tag, a starter kit with all your camping essentials like your sewer hose, water hose, adapters, chemicals, and more. A big five-gallon bucket full of new stuff included for that 21-9 price as well as an instructional DVD for Class C motorhomes. So, I, all pretty much all inclusive. Twenty one nine plus applicable sales tax. That's it. We're a one price store. We don't haggle. We don't negotiate. We don't take offers. If you want it checked out, ready to go, with all those other benefits, the price is twenty one nine. I'm not going to take a. I don't care if you pile up uh, $21,899 in front of me in cold hard cash. I'm not going to take it. It takes twenty one nine to buy it. You think I'm exaggerating? I'm not. Um, believe me, folks, we learned a long time ago, haggling in modern society has no place. Everybody uses the internet. I know as soon as you get done watching this video, you're going to research 2007 Forest River Forester 3161. You're going to look it up. You're going to look at every single one posted on the internet, compare the price, the miles and condition to this one, as well as the benefits before you even pick up a phone and call us and trust me folks internet has changed the way everybody does business it's like buying a tv you know you say you want to buy a new 60 inch tv you're going to search walmart's website amazon best buy ebay you're going to search all over the internet if you're looking for a particular 60 inch tv you're going to buy it from the store that has it for the lowest price you're not going to go and pay more for it on purpose, you're going to go to the one that's selling your TV for the lowest price you can buy. And it's true with everything, folks, including RVs. Now, if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, the price is $26.9, we'll start haggling. But if you just want to be right on the money, what it takes to buy it with a checkout and, a, and all that other stuff, it's $21.9, folks, and that's what it takes to buy it. Now, the only way we discount our prices, we do offer an option B. 21 nines are option A. Option B is the as-is price. You buy it just like you see it in the video. No inspection. No guarantees of any kind. No cleanup. No orientation. No free camping. Basically, a jump-in-and-go price only. Uh, take the good with any potential bad. And there's no exclusions to that, folks. When you buy something as-is, then you, the buyer, are 100% responsible for anything that this rv currently needs or will need in the future no exclusions it doesn't matter if it's a running gear problem an R uh, rv component problem a body pro anything folks i mean literally folks that's what as is means and people uh, a lot of times have a hard time understanding that folks if you take possession of this rv and it breaks in half 10 miles up the road guess what you own both halves of it 
that's what as is means. That's the best way I can put it. But anyway, if you are willing to buy one under those circumstances, which most of you are going to do option A, I know that. But if you're willing to buy it, you do get a couple of advantages buying option B over option A. Option B, you get to take it home the same day you pay for it instead of waiting for an inspection, which inspection we can probably get done in a week, week and a half, probably less than that. Always verify that with your salesperson, of course, before deciding to buy because our workload in our service area changes daily. However, um, and also the other advantage is, is you get a discounted price off this already incredibly low asking price. If you want a haggle-free option B price, contact my sales department 706-965-7929. We're family owned and operated for 50 years, folks. You know, we've always been here for you, always going to be. I mean, we sell five to 600 used units a year. Even now in the wintertime when other dealers are slowing down and everybody's taking their vacations, we're still rocking and rolling. We sold three today. So keep in mind, we don't play around, folks. We price them to sell, not sit around. And very rarely do you see anything at all in our lot that's been here more than about 60 days. Most stuff sells within two, three weeks after getting posted online. And this one right here probably sell in a few days. So please call ahead before traveling down here to make sure it's available um, if you want to fly in take a look at this motor home like so many of our customers do a lot of times depending on how far you're coming from it's cheaper and easier to fly down here to look at something and we'll pick you up at the Chattanooga Tennessee Airport for free during business hours um, and run you back if we need to that's included you know we'll do that for you too folks uh, so many people do that. Uh, if you want to rent a car to get to us, we'll, we'll help you drop the rental car off. Uh, if you want to take the Greyhound bus, there's a terminal in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We'll pick you up for free there, too. So just let us know how we can help you, folks. 706-965-7929. www.parkwayrvcenter.com. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you soon.